Hey folks, when we came in here, the new episode of Let's Play Avoyan. And I just adjust my mic. Right, um... So... So the ship in some action in the last episode. Not much, just a wee bit. And we have, uh... Got some scrap. Courtesy of the wee hangers, or the fighters rather. Um. I'll be avoiding the stress signals like a plague. And make our way up this way. Yeah, the ship does need um, improvements on maneuverability. So I think it would probably just be down to. Uh, well, it needs better braking for a start. Um, but tech upgrade. Uh, cargo upgrade, rather. Hmm. Increases it by 25%. Anyhow, so let's see. Right then. Yeah, so improving maneuverability is going to be key, I think. How we're gonna go about improving maneuverability, I'm not 100% sure. But in order to improve it, we will need um, still valuable objects in the sector. Hmm.
Oh, we just gained some mechanics from training, I would uh, imagine. Um, okay, so we still have 27 untrained. So one trained equals 1.5. So we have another 14. That'll be what? I suppose we're about to find out really, aren't we? Right. Right, so we still have 17. So if we have 10, that'll be 15. Okay, so I think we need 12. I think that's a bit right. And we're going to need a lot more mechanics. To get the proficiency up to 130%. So we can roughly find out how much. So we have 31. So we will need about 21 in total. So there we go. Okay. It's obviously 10 times 1.5 would be 15. So in order to get 10, the equivalent of 10 normal workers would be no the equivalent of 10 trained would be 15 untrained and then after time goes on they eventually level up and get greater and greater uh, yeah I might revamp the um, clone pods because while we can clone 110 people um, we simply do not have the energy production in order to actually clone them all. So we don't need 110. Actually, I might have a look at that now. So that's the um, cloning pods here. So if we remove it, and we shall go into Zanian cloning pod. Let's have a look. That will give us 12 capacity. And that comes up to that. That'll be. That's basically perfect. So, what do we need more of? We need gyros or whatever can be done. Shield to pre launcher assembly. I tell you what, what's that's three, and that's a lot more, right? So we'll just go this far, just for assemblies. But anywho, um, dog hanger framework gyro. Alright, so that improves. So what improves is pitch? Is it thrusters? Just I suppose. So it's 13. So let's have a 13. 6.5. Okay, and now we shall. So that is. Loopy loopy. And now just. Um, 
four by six point five. So we still have room for twelve. So what do we want to throw in here? Could go with more cargo. Or hmm. Right, so we really do need more thrust. It's not adjusting. Oops. Alright, so um, we've established that was 12, I bite 6 wide. Alright, so what influences yaw and pitch? Rotational effects improved when built far from center of mass. Okay, so it is these. Let's see how much that does. We do have processing power 12.5. And we need fifth. Oh. Must have been that much that we needed. So we now have another slot. Do I go with turrets? I don't want to use that one because I still need it for another ship. I've already got one of those. And I want that for a um, thing. Carrier. That's the one. So we can have... Impenetrable shields. Shields can't be penetrated by shots or torpedoes, so I think what that means is things that would normally go straight through shields and attack the hull hit the shields instead now, so it's not like your shields cannot be depleted, it's um, yeah it's that. You know, I'm gonna try one of these and see what the crack is. Okay, um, that, okay. So that reveals all the um, asteroids, which makes sense. 
Now I was initially under the impression that if I had this equipped um, with a Zanian mining turret because it uh, material of Vorian because it was Organite and it's material level plus one I thought that was well because it said material level plus one I thought that meant my mining turrets would be able to take a Vorian as a Zanian turret but what it actually means is that say the material was titanium initially it would detect iron and I believe titanium maybe nyanite but with the um, material level plus one it uh, improves it that bit further that it would detect either nyanite or trinium so it, it wouldn't detect the rest of it the, the detection, the asteroids that it detects, or materials that it detects is based on the material of your mining software I hope that makes sense so an iron would detect iron material level plus one would detect titanium etc 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 you know what it might do, it might be tempted to try and find a scrap yard and pay for um, you know, 15 minutes and then just let my little salvaging fighters just go to town I might do that I'm gonna gather some materials, some more ores, so it's gonna be a shortish episode um, we've revamped the ship a wee bit, added more thrusters taken away the um, cloning pods and replaced them with a smaller one that we can actually use to the the fullest because we will see there's the um, energy uses, usage is 63 percent and now it is 69 percent I know it's only six percent but then if I'm also recharging the um, hyperdrive or hyperspace engine and whatnot then that would increase the uh, amount being drained so yeah, I'm going to call the episode there, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and I shall hopefully see you all next time. Peace. Suck on that, dickhead.